Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to be showing you guys my mini living room transformation. So if you guys wanna see the transformation, keep watching. On the wall above the couch, I am going to be hanging up a mini gallery wall with gold frames to add some color. And then I'll add some throw pillows to the couch and swap out the old throw with one that matches the rest of the furniture. On this side of the living room, the main goal is to declutter. We will be replacing this TV stand with one that is longer and has a space that can hide things like games and wires. Before I start buying any furniture or decorations, I always go through Pinterest first to get an idea of what I want a specific space to look like. For this project, I went through my interior design Pinterest board to go through things that I've already pinned that I know that I already like. To get some more ideas, I also used the search engine for things like gray couch living room, gallery wall, and coffee table decorations. I have six of these that I want to hang up up here and make like a mini gallery wall. And these are from HomeGoods. I think they were like a pack of three for like $30. And they come with this template, which I am going to Put on the wall. I got this from Amazon. This laser level pro thing and it shoots a laser out. How do you even... Okay. I like this. Hold on. Look. See that? Can you see that red line? She says it doesn't matter because I'm leaving in a few months, so Gerald wants me to mark it first with a pencil. As you guys can see, there's no way for me to really mark it. I mean, I guess I could make a hole. So at this point, I figured I would try to make pencil marks on the wall before screwing in any nails just to be sure everything was straight. What I did was poke holes through the paper and try my best to mark the wall with my pencil. By the time I was done though, I literally couldn't tell where I marked all the places to screw the nails in, so I had to start over. So we're done with this. I am just going to go straight into putting the nails in. I don't need screws that are too large, so we're just going to go with like a medium sized one. I'm thinking, I'm nervous. If I mess up, Gerald's gonna be mad, but let's just do it. Adultic is really finding out that throw pillows cost at least like $20 each, which I just personally find ridiculous. I went to Kohl's a while back and I found these pillows for $10 each. This one is from Ikea and I bought the insert and then I bought the cover. So it came out to about seven bucks, I think. 
7 to $10. Found this throw pillow at Target as well. This is from the Opal House collection and it was $30. It was on sale, so it came out to like $27, but you know, every dollar counts. And then my favorite pillow is this pillow right here. This one's from Threshold and this one is also $30. The texture is so soft and it's so comfortable to lay on. I was going for color and I ended up going for texture just because it's hard for me to pick a color that would go with the living room right now. So I'm just really sticking to neutrals. So let's add these on and see how it looks. the same throw since I've been in my parents house and it doesn't go with everything it's like a dark brown knitted throw it's really comfortable but I did find another throw and this one is also from Target this is from the Opal House collection and it is another knitted throw but I love it because it also has tassels on the bottom and it just matches the rest of the pillows and it goes with the papasan that we have in the corner Moving on to the other side of the living room, the first thing I needed to do was get rid of all of the clutter and move everything out of the way so we could make room for the new TV stand. We were able to find a new Project 62 TV stand on OfferUp. We got it for $95 and it originally retails for $220. been trying to figure out what pieces to place on the coffee table. I played around with what we already had in the apartment. I ended up adding useful things like coasters and playful pieces like the crystal and the DIY beaded tassel that I made. What is your favorite part about this living room transformation? For me, I think it might be actually the coffee table decor because I've been trying to figure out how to do that for a really long time. But I honestly love everything about it. It's a little tropical with the monsteras. It's a little boho with the rattan and it's minimalistic with all of the clean colors. So I'm really happy about how it turned out. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up 
and subscribe to my channel for more. I'll see you guys next time.